get started. Um, hopefully you can see my screen, right? Yes. Okay. So, hi everybody, I'm Yanis, um, leadership consultant for uh, Deutsche Telekom and also product owner for uh, Digital Escape Rooms. This is an initiative that it's actually being delivered for the first time within our global footprint. As you will see in the presentation, uh, this has been quite a long ride up to now, and we have um, several factors that led us in uh, delivering this initiative the way we do. Today, we will try and present very briefly the why, the how, and the what behind the escape rooms. So first of all, let me show you where we started. So our journey actually starts back in on 29th of February, 2020. So back then, a team of uh, leadership consultants, HRD consultants, is flying back from uh, a very nice face-to-face -face off-site in Germany. By the way, it's been such a long time that I don't think I know how to spell these words anymore, face-to-face, off-site. Hopefully, we can fix it uh, quite soon. Now, our uh, consultants, including myself, they have met with uh, the sponsor for their new assignment, Marco Serrao. So we, have, we know that we are supposed to work for a new assignment for Europe segment, and we have to design and deliver something around the strategy. What we didn't know back then that is that once we landed at our homes, we would go into a two week quarantine because together with us, the pandemic decided to land also in Europe for good. And to make matters worse, uh, this would fo uh, full lockdown would follow. So this was the context that we had actually to design and deliver everything. Now that you know how it all started, let me get into more specifics. The first question that we start asking is always why, right? So somebody would say, why escape rooms? Looking back into this initiative right now, I can really say that the planets were aligned for escape rooms to happen. It didn't feel like this since the beginning, but now I'm quite convinced about it. So initially it was the segment's expectation about delivering a new program around their strategy, a program that would address the entire segment. We're talking about all employees of nine different countries. As you can imagine, this is quite a challenging um, expectation. It was also Marco's, uh, our sponsor, attitude and mentality. Marco is a fan of uh, working in an agile way. He really supports it. And th this way he was empowering our team a lot. What is more important was his openness in, um, new to, towards new ideas, even the ones that come with a risk. It was also our diverse team. We are talking about a team from Europe and HRD, in total eight people, six nationalities located in four countries that they were willing to deliver something fresh, something outside of the box, something that was never done before. It was also the feedback that we were getting from users, from the initiatives and the learning journeys and the offers we were giving up to, to them up to that point. So we were listening also to our users. And finally, it was also the pandemic, which of course is far from, you know, it, I wouldn't be correct in calling it a blessing in disguise, but definitely pushed us in the right direction. Because one thing the pandemic made for sure is that digital collaboration would uh, never be a nice to have ever again. So, now, looking back in, in retrospect, I can really tell you that we were indeed uh, the right people at the right place at the right moment. And you know what? At some point, this is all it takes. Now, the how is, the, is a bit easier. We started having design thinking and ideation workshops. We are a team and the secret in doing everything is about teamwork. These initiatives, to be honest, are not meant to be delivered by a single person, simply because it is better, it is faster, and it's more fun to work in a team. And in a real team, you have a lot of active listening, you have a lot of openness, you have a lot of diversity, 
and you know about this before. You have also some healthy debates and some healthy friction, mm -hmm. and this is also necessary. We started with several workshops, as I said, all of them digital. By the way, back then, having digital workshops was not as given as it is today. So we had to come up with the tools. We had to find the right way also for ourselves to collaborate. Mm -hmm. Now, after our workshops, we ended up having our high level designs of the initiatives we wanted to deliver. Escape rooms was right there in the top. It was then that actually a great ally came to join our efforts. And it was our trusted supplier, Dynamic Events. I would say more like a partner by now that they brought all the necessary expertise, all the necessary technical skills that we needed mm -hmm. in order to deliver this. And I have to say that they also brought a healthy dose of flexibility in order to manage uh, our changing demands. And we were changing our minds because this was indeed the first time it was happening. It was at that moment that we realized that we were actually going to deliver something cool and we felt that we had everything within our team. Now, hopefully I got you a little bit curious by now to see how escape room looks like. So this is practically the what behind escape rooms. Escape rooms is a, is a gamified light learning format. It is designed for teams, diverse teams across Europe, and it includes learning, competition, a bit of competition, and a lot of fun. We designed a custom platform that hosts all the custom-made material we prepared for our participants. This site, this platform, supports the teams end-to-end, -end, from registration to FAQs to support to leaderboard and, of course, hosting all the material. We designed a series of four escape rooms. They are part of the same story. The first one is the demo level for the participants to get used to it. The final three, they count in the competition. This is actually how some of the sessions look. And these are real participants. We have 750 participants in 130 teams competing to escape all four levels and win the final prize. The screenshots that you see are from the actuals level zero and level one. So level zero on the left, level one on the right. Today, we started competing and escaping level two. Now, as I said, there is a competition and the teams, they are scoring points by solving the challenges. This is our leaderboard after level one. And you can see that the top 20 teams are quite close. So the competition is quite intense and it's going to get even better. Since this is an ongoing initiative, up to now, we have only preliminary results to share with you. However, we did run a dry, a dry run, a pilot run, as we call it, before launching the real thing in order to test the waters. We got tons of feedback, both qualitative and numerical, from our participants. We had 70 users. And these are the results out of the pilot run. One thing that we can say for sure is that our colleagues were definitely engaged and they were uh, they really liked and appreciated this new format. Finally, I want to say that this uh, the escape room initiative is part of Europe's mm -hmm. customer centricity program. And for us, we are really proud in uh, in helping uh, the segment pushing on and moving on with our mission, which is to win the hearts and minds of our clients. Um, I'm thinking I'm running out of time. So as I'm going to close the presentation, one minute. It's very interesting, but yes, this is just a sneak just one minute, I know. So I really want to urge you uh, to, before um, mm -hmm. thinking about new initiatives, please try and think of new ideas. Mm -hmm. Disrupt the existing HR partners patterns and try come up with new ideas, be bold to pursue them. Uh, the reward, the satisfaction would be, would be definitely worth the effort. So Rumi, uh, that's about it. I would like to thank you.